Happy Friday chat room. What's up with it? I'm starting a bit early. I wanted to get this over with. I have Patreon videos I have to do this weekend and I have a few live streams I have to do here on YouTube. So I said, you know what? Let me get this over with. Happy Friday. It is 7.29 p.m. here on the West Coast. I am your host, Don Mega. Yeah, I decided to go and do this live stream a bit earlier because I wanted to get this out of the way. I had a few extra hours on my hands, so I said, you know, what? let me just do this. And this live stream is very important because this isn't talked about. It's not discussed. Discipline. Now, I've been ranting and raving about this image you're looking at i believe this is out of russia i believe this image is out of russia and you had what appears to be a attractive russian woman standing in front of two russian men or should i say guys i'll use the word guys and they're sitting down obviously on public transportation and they're not paying her any mind. Now, this video, there's also a video attached to this image where, where this image came from. And when you read the comments in the comment section, you have to translate it because it's in Russian language. And people were praising how those two guys did not pay her any mind. You know that would not have happened in America. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That Russian girl right there on public transportation through the hood. So this live stream, we are going to discuss discipline. It is needed badly amongst men in general discipline is needed Bert what's up with the Bert C. Nicole. What's up with this C. Nicole? How are you, sister? Hopefully everything is well. Detroit is in the building. Kevin Jones, you are always in the building. What's up with your partner? JC, salute kid. Oh, finally caught alive. Welcome, JC. Long time subscriber, supporter. Good to see you. Welcome. Winston Chu, what's up with the Winston Chu? We're going to get into discipline. And we're also going to get into some quotes. Some ancient quotes. Today, they will be considered punchlines. And that's missing. That That's missing. Old sayings, old traditions. Because here in this American society, all across social media, it's woman worship. Everywhere you look, it's woman worship. And there's different societies throughout the globe where it's not that much woman worship. You have places where schooling is more important you have places where studying is more important 
You have places where life is more important. Good money metals. What's up with the partner? I don't talk to white women, so that would have happened. You mean would not have happened? I understand that. But this live stream is about discipline. Now, I have a question for the audience. Is discipline taught? Do you do you get discipline from your parents? Do you get discipline from your father or is discipline self-taught? Where does discipline come from? See, Nicole, yes, it is taught. Okay. I would say yes and no, because self-discipline comes from self. You have to want to do it. You can be taught, but overall, it comes from within. Black Wolf, what's up with the Black Wolf? Correct answer, Black Wolf. You can be taught self-discipline to a certain degree. However, it comes from within. Being able to see a beautiful woman or what appears to be a beautiful woman and not bat an eye. You acknowledge that she's there. You acknowledge that she is there. However, you're not trying to get her number. You're not crying because she does not notice you. You're not doing countless content videos because you can't get the woman that you want. Other things are more important than women. Now, different societies, different societies, okay? Here in the American society, lust, sex, sexuality is pushed. You don't have to have any talent in 2023. Just have a big ass and you will go viral. You can be an idiot, but that ass will go viral. Thousands of thumbs up, millions of thumbs up. You have a country, a culture that is oversexed. So this is taught at a young age. This is what you need to get right here. You need to have titties, ass, X, Y, and Z. But it takes discipline to say, I'm good. I can wait. I'm not going to sit on social media and have countless discussions about women who don't want me. That's why this image here is so powerful to me. When I first seen this, I said, wow, that almost never happens here in America. Ownership, taking ownership, taking ownership of problems, ownership of problems. If you can't get and see. When we talk about discipline here, we have to add in the lust, the women, because that's the number one topic on social media. Men can't get the women they want. 
men fussing online over women, no discipline. Ice who? Uh, she's some rapper, but I just used her. I'm not going to be talking about her. I really don't know anything about her. I just used her image for an example. And how this society is pretty much oversexed. That's why. And when you have a woman with titties and ass standing in front of you and you don't pay her any mind, you do know she's there. You acknowledge that she's there. However, she doesn't move you. She does not move you. This only happens in other societies. Like a Russia. Like a China. That takes discipline. You look at social media. These two gentlemen here. You're not going to find them on social media having ongoing worthless discussions about women women nature women this women that they're into their studies Alien to Hitta. Men complaining about women with body counts that rival working chicks that don't want them. Sounds like a blessing in disguise to me. A lot of these guys lack goals. Because when you have goals, you don't pay them any mind. Men with goals, men who have ambition vision or should i say tunnel vision they're not sitting online crying about women random women who don't I, I mean how do you spend so much time talking about women who don't give a damn about you every time you turn around it's another video about some woman these men aren't focusing on themselves because if they focused on themselves, women will notice and women will come to them. But when you have a culture where the woman knows that you don't have any discipline, you don't have any dick control. This is America. These women know all she has to do is have a fat ass put on a pair of leggings and it's on and popping. She know men don't have discipline. They control your emotions. Her ass, her titties control your emotions. This Russian woman here did not control these two guys emotions. That's unheard of in America in 2023. Unheard of. Wesley, what's up with the partner? These are 40 plus year old men, mind you. Uh, are you talking about the men who's complaining about women? I, yes, I believe so. Many of them are. Many of them are up in age. Correct. In their 50s. And you would think that these men this age would be telling their younger supporters, hey, guys. It'll be greater later. Do this. Do that. The women will come. As a matter of fact, you should not even be worried about women. You should be on your studies. You should be on your money. You should be on your future, your goals, career. Not worried about what some hoochie said on Instagram, on Twitter.
JC, the amount of time men spend talking about women, either complaining about them or caping or capping for them, caping for them to other men is ridiculous. Well, it's an entire industry here on social media. It's an entire industry on social media to sit up and complain about women who don't want them to lust after women who don't want them. It's an entire industry. Winston Chu. What's up with the Winston Chu? Focus on self-improvement before the hoes. Correct. But the hoes come before the self-improvement. Like I just covered a story out of Alabama where you had a university player take out a female because she did not want to talk to him. They put the women, they put the coochie front and center. That's number one. Everything else is secondary. Alien the hitter. Men should be preparing for the future of technology and AI. The earth is changing before our, before our eyes. Women will always be here. Correct. These guys are chasing after these women like they're going somewhere. Running out of style. I, I mean, they're chasing like they're running out of women are running out of style. You got these guys sitting up on dating coaches channels when there's plenty for women out here. It's plenty. Women clearly outnumber men. There's no reason why the men are so pussified that they're sitting on social media crying about coochie, crying about random ass women like those those videos where you have women record themselves saying, if you don't make five hundred thousand dollars a year, I can't be with you. And these guys go nuts. It's like, who gives a F.U.C.K.? Why do you put so much real estate into what these hoes are saying? Why every time a female does a video about her wanting a, a particular or a certain type of guy, you need discipline. You shouldn't even watch the video. She shouldn't even get any views. If you had discipline, she wouldn't get any views. And guess what? Those type of videos would stop. But because every time a woman says jump, you say how high, nothing will change. You have to change yourself. You have to change yourself. Self-discipline comes from within. It comes from within. George Bernard Shaw. Many of you may not know who he is. He's Irish. He was pretty big in the early 1900s. And he was a playwright. He was an Irish playwright and a critic and a political figure. And he said, those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. If you don't change your mind, you can't change anything. That was a great, great. Now he's Irish, right? But that was a great, great quote from an Irishman. It's the truth. Until these guys change their minds, they can't change anything. The way they view the world, society, these women, they can't change anything. Sitting around crying about and see, they get mad. They get angry 
when you do content and say they're crying about women and doing videos nonsense. I mean, you do what you want to do. But overall, you're controlled by these women. You're controlled by these women's body parts. They control you. This female here, she has no control over these two gentlemen. These are gentlemen in my book. She had no control over these two gentlemen. Do you actually believe Pookie and Ray Ray will be able to sit there on public transportation and watch that white Russian titties bounce in their face and not say anything? Not say anything stupid? You live around here? <laughs> I never saw you before. You got a boyfriend? He would never be able to sit here. And that's why this picture, this image is so powerful to me. Correct weather. They would harass her the entire time. The men in America don't have any discipline. Don't have any discipline. Why does it need, excuse me, here on social media, why do we need video after video about women nature? If you're a good person, and, and listen, I understand that there's bad people out here, men and women. But overall, if you're a good person, you're going to meet a good person. You have a lot of people who did not have luck in life and they come to social media and they want company because they're miserable. Misery loves company. There's no way in hell every time a female does a video about what type of man she's like, she likes. I'm going to sit here and try to break that down or try to say, well, who cares what she says? The moment you stop watching her videos is the moment she's going to stop doing that type of video and go to something else to get your attention. If you ask me, men should not even be on women right now. Men should be focused on their own studies, their future, their goals. The women will chase you. They depend on your attention. Where you go, she will follow. The moment she knows she doesn't have your attention anymore is the moment she's going to do something else to get it. You'll have her chasing you. But as long as every time she can stand in front of you with a pair of double D's, a nice big round fat ass, and you lose it, she's going to continue to do it. There's another story in the news that I was going to cover, but I'm going to cover. I'm going to say that for Patreon. And it was a guy and you may have heard this story, but it was a guy that was attempting to talk to a woman and she did not want to talk to him and, and he stole her purse just snatched her purse off her shoulders no discipline can't take no for an answer snatching purses having shootouts over booty over ass over cheeks They control you. You throwing your life away over a set of double D's. They control you. You have no discipline. A stranger should not be able to control you like that. Alien to hit a brush, stole a bunch of makeup. Okay, so I take it you did see that story. 
I don't know what he stole, but yeah, he he took her purse. She said he was trying to talk to her. She said, "Get out of here, you creep!" And he snatched her purse and ran off with it. Women make and break a lot of American men's days. If a woman does not acknowledge them, they are crying. They are all over social media. <laughs> oh my god. I, they're so stuck up there. Who cares? Who cares? Why do you put so much real estate into what these females are saying? Why is it so much real estate into what these women are saying? But then you hop on social media and you talk all this shit. But really, man, you just mad because you can't get the woman you want. In 2023, it's a pandemic. 2023. It's a pandemic. You have a lot of women out here. There's no reason why you men are on social media crying because you can't get a woman. All you're doing is showing the world that you're incels. It's plentiful. It is plentiful. However, you shouldn't be worried about that. You should be focused on you yourself. Even I said 2023 should be about you. Shouldn't be about anyone else. Focus on yourself. And that goes for everybody. Be stingy this year. Do for you only you. It's all about you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Bert, purse snatcher should be tased and pepper sprayed for the fire. <laughs> Yeah, these guys is on social media crying and they disguise it as uh, teaching each other about women. They disguise it as female nature. They disguise it as other things, dating coaches. But really, th these is pussy worshipers. There's no pussy. <laughs> there's no pussy worship right here on this public transportation. They fear not getting any in. No, they fear they fear of not getting any is a pandemic. Interesting. And then you have men who's in relationships and were a, a relationship and they're crying over women also. And it's like, well, you got a girlfriend. What is your problem? You got a wife. What is your problem? Oh, I'm just teaching these guys about female. Like, dude, no, your issue is, is that you don't like the woman you with. That's your issue. And a lot of, a, a lot of these guys on social media, when you look at their age, they're really young. And so at a young age, they're being taught to worship women. At a young age, they're being taught to worship women. So this is why you hear a lot of this crying. It's not just grown men. It's these teenagers also because they get it from these older, older guys. That's the bulk of their subscribers. Because you're like, who is listening to this shit? It's the younger generation. And it just sounds good. Whatever you put most. In a whole relationship and, and still focusing on women. I never understood why. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. And I don't even really know who he is. But yeah, I'm not surprised that he's in a relationship. And uh, he's on YouTube talking about women. Because it pays the bills. 
You have a lot of men who feel really bad that they can't get women. They feel bad. They 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 feel really bad that they can't get women, approach women, get a phone number, get a call back, and they just want a space to vent their frustrations. But this is some new age type shit. You cannot show me any time in human recorded history where you have men complaining and crying about women. I believe this is the first time. I don't even know how this culture even was created. Just a, a culture of men, a lot of men crying over women, no discipline. There's in recorded human history. You cannot tell me a time where so much focus was on women. Lame ass. What's up with it? They go overseas to feel like they rappers, but be mad at women for liking rappers. Yeah, a lot of these women don't pay you no mind because so many rappers and so many men, well, different men, put money and cars and jewelry in their faces. So if you don't have that, they're not going to look at you. But you have to blame men. The guys on the uh, the guys on the lower end of the spectrum, and they just won't love. It's, it's going to be tough. It's, it's going to be tough, but you're going to have to have discipline in anything you do in life. That's in any it is work. I, I mean, you, you you have to have discipline in anything you do in life, and that's what's lacking. That's what's missing. Especially with with black men, we, we all know black men don't have discipline. There's no way in hell a black man will be sitting here, especially two black men, and she and she standing there like that, and they not saying anything to her, not looking. That's why the woman on the left was looking like y'all y'all not paying her no mind. Y'all not y'all not looking at those set of you know nope. Nope, that's discipline. Lame as angry man uploads multiple tearful videos a day about women. I don't understand. It's not just him, it's many of these guys in on black social media. And that is where the algorithm is at now. That's why all of them is doing videos on women. That's where the algorithm is. But what they have done is create a crybaby industry. A bunch of grown ass men in their 40s dressed like children crying over coochie. behaving like children. Men, the traditional and, and you hear people always talk about the, the, the traditional man. I, or, or they'll say like I'm into traditional values. Well, well, the traditional man uh, studied. The traditional the traditional man provided for his family. The traditional man read books. The traditional man knew how to farm. The traditional man knew how to build a shed in the backyard. The traditional man knew how to cut grass. The traditional man knew how to collect rainwater. The traditional man picked up the trash in his neighborhood. The traditional man did not sit on social media and cry, kick, scream, and moan because they can't get a bad B-I-T-C-H. This image shows how effeminate the American man has become. 
how social media, uh, different political groups and uh, 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 advertisement advertisements has worked on the brain of the American man to where this is damn near impossible to see or to witness here in America. JC, the coochie craving industrial car. <laughs> good one. Good. That's a good one. The coochie craving industrial complex. And that's exactly what it is. You can't show me a group of men in recorded history and see. What people have to understand is you have to learn how to create. You have to learn how to create your own environment, right? So let's just say you're a, you know, you're a guy and well, let's just say not any guy, you're a lame and women don't like lames or whatever. You're going to have to create something about yourself. Maybe go to school, maybe get, get, inside the gym you may have a talent you're going to have to create something to get her attention this idea that you're going to hound her harass her and tell her how she thinks she's all that because she doesn't want to be with a guy like you that shit don't work that what you have done is fed her ego these guys think they're coming to social media putting putting their fingers index fingers she know all you wanted some pussy she know all, she she know you just talking. The women know y'all just talking. You spending too much time on social media talking about her. Showing the younger generation that you need to lust. You need to have your tongue sticking out your mouth anytime you see a fat ass and some titties. And if she don't want to talk to you, that means she, she thinks she all that or she don't like you or you don't have enough money for her. And then we have to be realistic also. You have a lot of guys who don't have features and that's fine. Everyone is made differently. Everyone is built differently, right? You have men who don't have features, meaning they don't have like looks that will attract women. You have to be fair. If you don't have looks to attract women, you can't be going out here trying to get the baddest woman. She, she, <laughs> she like, nigga, you can't be, you, you can't be, listen, you can't be a midget with two black eyes on social media talking about these women acting stuck up. Like, <laughs> You got to start being more realistic. Why? Now, nah, I would work, but not to get some hoes attention. I totally agree. But this is for these guys who have to have their attention. No, I totally agree. You, you work for yourself. I totally agree with that. But I'm saying if these guys and see. Think of it like a wizard, right? W what is the job of a wizard? A job of a wizard is to what? Not only go to war, not only to ride on the broom, not only to cast spells, is what? To create. Wizards create. People have to learn how to create what they want. You can't just sit down and complain about women. And I said that on a live stream. I said, listen, you got to get out there. When you get out there, you're creating an environment where you can court these women, meet these women, see these women, impress these women, whatever you pussyfy <clears throat> want to do. A lot of you men have bad hygiene. Thank you, Black Wolf. You got bad hygiene. Like my brother Deacon Weasel said, you smell like rotten tomatoes. You got to start being more realistic.
But overall, you need to have discipline. You need to focus on yourself, worry about yourself. Stop allowing body parts and random women to move you, to control your emotions. Alien does hit her. Yep, the beautiful thing of being a man is creating your own reality. Correct. They don't know anything about that. Like, they'll get mad at us for saying certain things, right? But if they had a father, their father would have told them this. Why, why are you getting mad at me for telling you something that your dad should have told you? When it, and, and another thing. Yes, yes. Okay, so here's the thing. Yes, your yes, self-discipline comes from within. Co correct, right? But when you're growing up, your dad is supposed to sit you down and teach you about the birds and the bees. Teach you about the birds and the bees. Teach you about women. Teach you how to behave around women. Just in general. Not even around women, just just how to behave. When I was a child growing up, I couldn't run around. You didn't see me running around. If we would go somewhere, I was I I, I had discipline. I was well behaved. If I was sitting down somewhere, some some random stranger couldn't come up to me and tell me to come here and I would get up and follow him. Right? I I had discipline. Still do have discipline. And once these women see that you have discipline, all your problems will go away. All your problems will go away. All you have to apply is the discipline. All your problems will go away on top of working on yourself. You have to be realistic. You got to wash your ass. If you got to get in shape, shred some pounds, park your car, buy you a bicycle, ride the bicycle. Create what you want. Stop sitting around crying and moping. Create your environment. Create what you want. I find it very interesting and see you have to understand this topic isn't for everyone that this topic isn't for everyone and you have to be fine with that i'm fine with that i don't do topics to get people to to you know whatever i do them because i want to do them and i do them because i'm asked to do them and i do them because it helps people See, Nicole, get a fresh cut and pull up your pants. Yeah, and fix your vocabulary. You have to know how to talk, articulate yourself. Women notice you when you don't notice them. Weather, it shouldn't take a 50 year old metrosexual <laughs> to teach you, to, to teach you as a 40 year. And, uh, you know, it's oh, oh, no. OK, so I'm glad you brought that up. Excuse me. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, I think that's an excellent point. Uh, a, a big issue in uh, black social media is you have a lot of men who did not or who did not learn how to be a man until they made their 40s or 50 that's a problem that's a major problem so you have a lot of men who are growing up late very late and that's what i've been talking about how a lot of this content and what these people are not being told and taught has stunt their growth
you have a lot of men a lot of dumb ass 40 plus year old men here on social media someone somewhere somehow stunt their growth maybe it was a parent but yeah you got grown ass men in their 40s and 50s just now learning or uh, or trying to learn how to be a man and their way of being a man is crying about women Prove me wrong. Listen, listen, you have people that get mad at some of the things I say, right? But you can't find people that say I'm lying. I'm not lying. You ain't heard nobody say I'm lying. Show me a time in human recorded history where so much time, emphasis, brain power was placed on women. Where? I'll wait. I'm in the comment section. I'll wait. When Socrates and the German philosophers, uh, not German, Greek philosophers, excuse me, they were not talking, they were not studying about women. They weren't talking. I mean, these guys w was carving out societies and, 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 and governments and stuff. And they were philosophers. They weren't sitting up crying and chasing women, worshiping women at the feet of women, crying about child support. I'm on well, if you had some dick control, and I understand there's issues with child support, but everything isn't on this woman. A lot of men out here don't have dick control. North Star Bright, what's the origin of the Russian picture? Okay, so it was a video that went viral. Um, and the reason why it went viral is because you had this, they're obviously on public transportation and you had this woman who appears to be beautiful, obviously, because this white woman here on the left, uh, is looking at the, these two guys, like, why aren't you looking at this Russian woman or this white woman? She's beautiful. And they were so into their studies or whatever, or whatever they were doing that they didn't even, they knew she was there, but they didn't look at her like, yo, let's talk or I, I like you. If she was here in America, she would not have made it off that train without a guy trying to talk to her, especially a Pookie and Ray Ray. So this, this image is from a video and It means discipline. That's what I got from this image, discipline. She was able to stand in front of them with those two big breasts and that big white ass, and it didn't move them. Her body parts did not control their emotions. They controlled their own emotions. They were in control of their emotions, not her, not some random stranger. why what if you from a different country what do you mean like like what do you mean are you from a different country you're not here in america is that what you're saying andrew tate these ninjas new idol yeah everything is about trying to be bad in front of women yeah you uh, i'm gonna pimp you and i'm gonna do this and and, and you're gonna do what i say and, and it's all woman worship it's all woman worship you're gonna do this you're gonna do that you're gonna it's it's all woman worship All right, so that would do it for this live stream. I may do a part two, but I wanted to, to come in here and do this live stream and knock it out. Uh, I wanted to talk about discipline. And uh, again, I am ranting and raving about this image. This is beautiful. Thanks everyone for coming out. I will be back again uh, sometime tomorrow for live. Uh, peace, have a good night.